Hey there, Doug from Convology here. In this video, we're going to talk about a new feature, well, a relatively new feature that Thrive just released to improve the deliverability of the emails that go out when a new user registers on your website. Now, if you're not familiar with transactional emails, think of those as the emails that people want to receive. They're things like receipts, login information. They're not marketing emails. So an email from Thrive Apprentice giving somebody their login name and their password is a transactional email. Now on some web hosts, and I'm going to emphasize some web hosts, your website can with varying degrees of success, send emails and your users can actually receive them. In other words, they're delivered at all, or they don't go directly to somebody's junk or spam folder. This new feature allows your website to connect in with a transactional email service of your choosing, one that's supported by the Thrive API interface, and facilitate the sending of those emails from your website to the users through this transactional email service. Now, this is nothing new. We've been dealing with transactional emails and WordPress's inability to send them for almost decades at this point, right? But until this particular feature, if all you wanted was to ensure that your website could send those registration emails, you needed to use a third party plugin, something like Fluent SMTP. Now on my website, I have an entire guide about Fluent SMTP going over not only how it works, but the different types of emails that you can send and the tools that you can use, but also choosing a connection provider. And in those connection providers, I kind of give you my thoughts on various different services that you can choose from. And these are going to be the same services that you're going to choose from when you set up this feature inside of Thrive Apprentice. So this feature does require integration with a third party company or tool in order to make this work. So let's take a look at this new feature where we can set up our email delivery service. You'll find this under Thrive Apprentice settings email templates. This is where you would normally come in here and you would set up the new account created email template that goes out to new members who register on your site, whether you've chosen down here when a new user registers and creates a free account. And this also applies to when accounts are created by Thrive Automator, as well as with Thrivecart and Sendal when new accounts are created when facilitating the purchase through those third party tools. The new feature is up here at the top and you'll see by default, it is set to send emails from this site. Now let's talk about this because if we do the drop down here, you can see that I've integrated with another service, Amazon SES. That's Amazon's email service where uh, I believe the current pricing on the server I'm on is something like 10 cents per 1000 emails sent. I'm pretty sure I've never really even accrued a dollar in transactional emails from Amazon SES. Now I could choose Amazon SES here and because I've integrated it properly with my website and I've got the APIs in place, this is totally fine. The emails will send through SES. Now you could swap out Amazon SES here with something like Postmark, SendGrid, SendInBlue, or any of the other dozen or so options that you can integrate with. But for a lot of people, this might not be the best option. If you're already using an SMTP plugin like Fluent SMTP, which is completely free and actually quite amazing, you don't need to change this. You'll want to say send emails from this website. And that's because when you're using Fluent SMTP, that is sending emails from your website and that is managing and facilitating the sending. So if I make a change here and I choose Amazon SES, then the emails are going to send from Amazon SES, not through my site, and they're going to bypass Fluent SMTP. In my case, I don't want that. And let me show you why. Here I'm inside Fluent SMTP, and you can see that I have chosen the provider, Amazon SES. This was the same option I could have chosen in Thrive Apprentice, but I can also choose the from email. In this case, I can choose anything at my domain because I validated my domain with Amazon SES. And I also have logs over here. You can see that I can delete my logs after a certain number of days. I can choose to log all emails for reporting purposes, and I can turn on other various notification settings. If I click on this blue pencil icon here next to Amazon SES under actions, you'll see what the interface looks like if you're going to add another connection provider. Now, for the most part, these are the same options that Thrive would integrate with. However, I have a lot more options here inside of Fluent SMTP. For example, I can choose my from email. I can force that from email so that the emails always come from this email. I can choose a from name and I have a lot more customization. Now, this section down here is going to differ based on which of the tools that you've connected with, and these are going to have varying degrees of difficulty. For example, Amazon SES, 
extremely, extremely cheap and affordable, but really, really hard to set up. SendGrid, much more expensive, like $15 a month, but extremely easy. You paste in an API key and send in blue is free for the first 300 emails that you send in a month anyway. And it's as easy as pasting in an API key. So you have options here and pretty much all of these are going to get the job done. So to recap, while Thrive does now let you set an email deliverability service at the account creation email level, I don't know that I recommend you use it. I would actually continue to recommend Fluent SMTP. It's completely free and you have the exact same integration options that you would have with Thrive. The difference is you just have a lot more options and Fluent SMTP is going to cover your entire website and not just Thrive Suite or the things facilitated by the Thrive plugins. If you have any additional questions about Fluent SMTP or kind of this whole transactional email system, I'm going to link the article that I've written down below in the description, and I'm happy to answer any questions you have down below in the comments as well. But that's gonna do it for this video. I'm Doug from Confology, and I'll see you in the next one.